Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at the Basimilus Iteritas Altar from Noise Engineering. The Basimilus Iteritas Altar, or BIA for short, uh, is evolution on the original Basimilus Iteritas module. Uh, in addition to being uh, two HP smaller than the original, uh, it adds one additional synthesis algorithm uh, and three two octave ranges of pitch uh, instead of two, as well as putting both of those switches under CV control. Essentially, the BIA is a six operator FM voice uh, with a noise generator uh, and controls that adjust routing, intermodulation, frequency, harmonic shape of the operators, um, all depending on the algorithm that is selected, uh, and finally paired with attack and decay envelope controls, which also affect those algorithms. But that kind of undersells just how great the parameterization of the algorithm is by the front panel controls. By just modulating a couple controls, you have nearly the full range of possible percussion, baseline, and even melodic voice sounds. Um, I had heard many great things about the BI and the BIA, and it only took about five minutes of me playing one in person before I knew that this was gonna be a mainstay in, in my rack. Going around the panel, we have a pitch control and its corresponding one volt per octave pitch input, which will set the fundamental frequency. Um, spread and harmonic, two very interesting controls where spread controls the spacing and frequency between those six uh, operator oscillators, uh, allowing to either just have a single pure uh, one harmonic or start to separate them in pitch and get very dissonant tones. Um, harmonic determines the decay of all six operators. So with harmonic all the way down, you pretty much just hear one oscillator decay out, but as you turn harmonic up, the other operators will ring out longer and you'll hear them. Uh, Morph controls the shape of all the operators. It'll blend through sine and saw, triangle, square, uh, and that makes for a very dynamic control. Fold controls the digital wave folder where uh, the first half, three quarter range is kind of sounds like a typical wave folder, but it's dynamically adjusting the number of folds based on the signal amplitude with the knob position. It's kind of like the ultimate wave folder that you'd want to use with a percussive voice. Um, additionally, at the very top end of the range, uh, some pulses that are based on the uh, pitch uh, are started to be injected into the signal to give it even more harmonics. Uh, last but not least, the algorithm section chooses between skin, liquid, or metal algorithms uh, and an input for CV control and the range switch selects between three different two octave ranges, and there is a manual trigger button in addition to the trigger input. All right, that's the panel and the controls. Let's jump right into some patches. All right, let's start going through some, some pretty basic sounds to get a feel for how the controls work and how they sound. Um, the attack knob is one of the more interesting knobs in that as you turn the attack above 12 o'clock, it starts to ramp up slightly in volume. As you move more towards 12 o'clock, it gets shorter and you start to get a click introduced. And as you go counterclockwise from 12 o'clock, it starts to mix in the noise generator. You've almost certainly seen videos where people are modulating this to make the sound of a full drum kit. Uh, it's a really fun control to play around with and there's some really awesome subtle attack sounds in there between full-on noise and click. The decay knob does just what you'd expect. And there's quite a bit of decay here. So with the decay all the way open, you pre pretty much just make bass line sounds. It doesn't have to be uh, kick, snare, tom, etc. sounds. Uh, we're listening to the skin algorithm right now. If we were on the liquid, it adds some pitch modulation from the envelope. Fold. Morph, which again changes the wave shapes of the six operators. And two of my favorite controls here, the harmonic and spread. Um, so with spread all the way down, we just hear the one harmonic. So you'll hear that tone ring out a little longer. With spread turned up, we hear all six, and that makes harmonic a little bit more dynamic of a control. And with a long decay, we get some of these awesome sounds.
Metal is an algorithm similar to the other two where, um, where feedback is injected. All right, let's jump into some patches. Okay, here we've set up a patch with a 16th note um, trigger and uh, the same 16th note driving a voltage block where I'm modulating the uh, amount of harmonic. Uh, I've turned spread all the way up, so we've spread the six operators uh, as far as this parameter will move them. Uh, we're listening to the alto range and the skin algorithm, the shorter decay and attack at 12 o'clock, so we're just getting a little bit of a, of a click. And on certain steps, I've turned the harmonic up. And you'll hear that sort of more metallic, brighter ring. If we play with the morph control and change the wave shape of these operators, it gets more dramatic. And if we were to sequence or modulate spread, we can get some tones in between. The liquid algorithm, we can get a little more uh, attack uh, with the pitch. If we sort of pre-sequence some Attack in here. slight evolution from that patch. Again, we're using the voltage block, uh, both triggering and moving the sequence at a 16th note. Um, and we're modulating the algorithm between the skin and liquid on certain steps to give a little bit of that uh, pitch modulation uh, under the liquid algorithm. Um, adjusting attack to get a couple of those snare hits in there uh, and uh, continuing to move uh, the harmonic control um, as well as now decay. And I'm just going to manually play with the fold and morph control so you can hear how that uh, affects the signal. Tax on you here is actually 
actually from modulating the attack to the higher side of the knob and getting a quick ramp. Let's jump to one final patch where we modulate all the things. All right, in this last patch, um, same as before, except now we're actually modulating the pitch with a sequence from Renee uh, to kind of turn this more into a percussion baseline melody all in one. Um, and we're also modulating the fold a little bit this time. Uh, and last but certainly not least, um, randomly the algorithm switches from bass to algo um, through a random trigger that we're attenuating slightly just to get to the middle of the range. Um, if you haven't already checked out the BIA in person uh, or even just go out on a whim, pick it up. There's no way you'll be disappointed. Um, it's an amazing addition to a system. Uh, if you're just looking to use it for percussion, that's great. Uh, I really uh, want to uh, encourage people to sort of step out that side of the box and do bass lines and melodies. And uh, it's a really awesome module to play with. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this and see you next time. Thank you.